Alright guys, welcome back to uh, guide number two on how to properly survive or at least get started on the wonderful island of Ark. Um, subscribe, hit the bell button, and we'll jump right in in just a few moments. Alright, we're, we're getting ready to start. So, what we're going to need to do is, well one, I'm going to try to keep this video nice, short, and sweet to get all the main stuff in. Um, but where we left off, off was we, um, got all the explore notes. We landed here on Herbivore Island, where we can now set up a pretty, pretty good base here without much disturbance. Well, besides these nut jobs. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to get us some clothes. So we're going to want to start getting us some leather. I'm gonna make myself some nice, good-looking leather boots. Um, let's see, what do you need for that? I think it's mainly just leather and hide. Yeah, not leather and hide, same thing. Uh, fiber and hide, and that's all you're gonna need for these suits. Um, these will keep you warm throughout the days, and it just helps signify that, hey, you leveled up, good job. Um, so yeah, it's about time we actually got some clothes on. We got all this stuff. Might as well put it on. Um, yeah. So the first thing we'll be killing, since we have no hide, is because we didn't do much killing. We didn't kill those dodos, but that, that, that was... No, that doesn't count. Um, what do we got here? We got a lovely level 4 parasaur. You're going to want to hunt parasaurs. You don't want to... You could hunt... Um, let's see. There are ankies here, but... Parasaurs give you more, and they don't take as much resources to kill. So, let's get this Parasaur. Let's start stabbing to death. Let's see. Easy kill. Um, they don't fight back. All that good stuff. Uh, collect as much hide as you can. Like so. Now that you got all that, you're going to want to make some more bullets. Probably make as much as you can. The more the merit, the more the merrier because it makes things a whole lot easier when trying to kill these guys. So, let's put HLNA is ready to explore. All right, let's let's get this next parasaur. Actually, what can we make? Uh, let's put a let's get us some pants and a hat. Pants and a hat. We do have this water skin from that drop we picked up earlier. Put these on. Uh, now we just need one more set of clothes, and then the next thing we're gonna want to do is start making a base. And we'll get through that after I finish killing this guy. Well, that was easy. All right. Harvest it. You also get some meat, which is pretty good. You can just stick that in our little campfire over there. Isn't that right? Yeah. All right, let's get this done. All right, so what we're gonna do is chuck all the meat that we have, at least as much as we can. Oh look, most of our meat's cooked from last time, even though I haven't been on. Uh, there's a th thing about uh, single-player worlds or maps, whatever you want to call them, they will not uh, continue any progress, meaning no dinosaurs will kill you, everything just freezes until you get back on. Unlike a server, which will actually continue anything and everything because multiple people will be on it. So let's say you're on, build your base, and you get off. It's not going to stop for you. Everyone else is going to come and try to kill you. Or animals try to kill you, all that stuff. Um, anyway, besides all that, so what we're going to do is we're gonna build our base and we're oh wait first we want our shirt we we don't need gloves gloves are useless you're gonna want to build as many arrows as possible because that's gonna be like your main way of taming slash killing things all right so right now we're gonna start by a two by two fort and we're gonna make it out of stone stone is gonna be a lot diff more difficult to make granite haha get it granite anyway um it, it is very it was a bold it was one of my bolder jokes but not very good 
Um, anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was so cheesy. Anyway, it might take a while. It's tedious, but it will end up with very strong results. It also helps with taming things, but you're not going to get wood just for you just to turn around and make it out make it out of stone so might as well just dump to the stone in the first place that's my thinking you can go wood whatever but this is, this is my thinking all right so i'm just going to harvest the rest of these materials um after you get pretty heavy we did up our weight back in the first video uh just so you know your stuff will break get used to it whoops your stuff will break so you'll have to get used to that oh come on so toss out any flint. I suggest toss out any necessities that you don't do not need. Like I don't need these berries, so they'll weigh you down. Uh, not very useful. Get as much materials as you can to help you repair your tools. That is also a big necessity that you'll actually need. So you now you can repair my axe. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Whatever. Repaired. Done. Now, actually, before we continue, I'm going to move my boat over this way. And you can see my sleeping bag is gone from the last video. Well, I was trying to experiment, and I totally forgot about it, so I had to respawn myself. Uh, luckily, I, I was able to retrieve all my stuff, and... Yeah. Yippee. I'm all fine. Alright. So, what you're going to want to do is toss all of your stone in here. Every single little bit of stone. You might want to save some for your axes, pickaxes, whatever. But I'm going to build in this little area right in front of us. But now that you guys know what to do, I'm going to speed this part up. If you guys want, pause the video. I don't care. It's your choice. Uh, but yeah, give me a few seconds and I'll get all the materials I need. Alright, so that is going to be it for stone. So, yeah. You also want to watch your... I forgot to mention this. Uh, here first. Yeah, that's about as much stone as you're going to need. But I forgot to mention this. You do want to watch your weight limit. Otherwise, you will not be able to move. Which makes things 20 times harder. Not just 10. 20. Alright, now. The next thing we're going to need is... Lovely... Wood. Lots of wood. We're going to need lots of wood. Just put it that way. Beat it. We're going to need one of those later, but not right now. But for now, just go around and get wood. And yeah, another montage coming up. Alright, so that's going to be it for wood, around the same amount, uh, um, item frames, I don't know what you want to call it, cube-wise, um, but now we're going to need some thatch, I'm not going to do a montage for this, you're, you're going to need a lot, but it's really easy to get, as you can see, but, um, yeah, so, I'm just going to start out with 2x2 two two base, you can go for 5x5, 3x3, 2x3, 1x1, I don't care, it's, uh, I'm going to go Bob Ross, it's not my painting, it's yours, um, I suggest you start out with a 2x2 two two because we're going to have a lot of materials, but we're not going to have a lot of materials, we're going to need to get more, it's a lot to make stone stuff, oh, speaking of stone, But, uh, luckily, we have a lot of stone here, a lot of trees, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so, um, I'm gonna put mine near the front here. 
I'm putting it in here specifically because it's a nice area. Ooh, that's gold. Let's go see if we can get that. Anyway, I'm, I'm putting my place in here. My base in here because it's nice, secluded. Just organizational-wise, it's very, very useful, that sort of thing. Um, you can have yours out in the open. Like, there's no, nothing's gonna attack you or anything. You're not on a public server, at least I don't think you are. You could be. But if you're on a single player world, nothing's gonna attack you. Like, the only thing here dangerous is probably the Brontosaurus, which if it will only attack you if you attack it, so. It's just nice organizational wise. Ooh, candy corn. But yeah. Oh, all this good stuff. Medical brew, that would come in handy later. Uh, chili, stew, soup, and a tart? I think that's what it's called, a tart? Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna make any of, the, any of these. You're not gonna need them. Probably not until later. They do help with, like, volcano stuff. Because, end game wise you're gonna have to go into a volcano. But, otherwise, it's kinda useless. And they just spoil. So, like... Yeah. It's, it's, the yellow bar at the bottom means it's gonna spoil. That's all it means. Um, ooh, we got a lot of thatch. Alright, I'm gonna go get just a little bit more. And then we can start construction. Oh yeah, uh, and these piles, these spooky piles. Alright, my apologies, um, that person calling my name, which you will forget, is, uh, is my father and he's talking about going to a haircut. Anyway, back to what I was saying, um, those spooky piles, yeah, those ones. Uh, they're so we're having a special thing that Wildcard likes to do. The creators of Ark, it's a seasonal thing. It's called the Fear Evolved event. It's like a Halloween theme f for the game, and that's what that was. For those of you who don't know, uh, what happens here? Anyway, all right, this might be the last treat, and then maybe then we can get started. There we go. Alright, let's double check. Now let's go check in there. Then we can start building our uh, first first part of the base. Like I said, we're probably going to need more materials uh, to continue the base. No, first, scratch that. We will need more materials for the base. So yep, we really stored all that stuff in there. Take it all out. And you want to make four foundations. And make a doorway with whatever, uh, make a doorway in a door with whatever materials you got left. And hey, look, you leveled up. Yep, you level up from the old swing if you guys haven't figured that out yet. For those of you who don't know, you do gain experience from multiple things killing, building, exploring us. And right now we're gaining levels. Anyway, after that, chuck in more stone in your inventory. Cause that's the main necessity here and since you got a four two by two not four by four two by two base you'll need uh, eight I believe yeah eight walls but since we already built a door weight we're just gonna need seven so one two three four that covers two sides and now no I don't want that four Five, six, and seven. Now that is the start. We will want to make it too high, so let's just get let's let's make it make as much as possible. So chuck some more wood in there. Uh, one more. Ran out of stone. Like I said, it's gonna happen. So chuck whatever materials you've got left into your lovely box here, and let's go build. So I'm just gonna face mine out. Mine's gonna be more towards the front. Let's see, I'm trying to line this up. I'm gonna put mine here. That's my first one. That's my second one. It's gonna be similar to the thatch base we made earlier, but not too different. Actually, it's gonna be a lot different. You're gonna be adding a lot more stuff. Uh, you're, you can face the doorway whatever way you want. 
just make sure these wood parts are facing inside and then you'll get this clean flushness not so flush rocks outside and then go around the outside like so and then you'll get your first part of the base done like so and boom there you go there's the first part of the house you go in and check it out yeah it looks somewhat nice not too nice right now but we'll fix that up now with whatever walls you made left or have left whatever start placing walls so now that we place three at least i did i don't know how many you guys have uh i'm gonna guess one you're gonna have one left anyway for me i have three left i put three so i have one two three four five yeah five walls left to put and then we got the ceilings to do Luckily, it does not take as much stone. It only takes 40 to build a wall. So, we're just gonna do a quick building montage. You can do whatever you want. Slow it down, make it less montage -y. Whatever, I don't care. It's not my base, it's your base. Do whatever. Um, oh, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna get this done. Alright, there you go. That's the end of that. Um, now we need the ceilings. That takes a little bit more, not as much, but you, you know the drill. Go mine. Get some more stuff. You'll need four, and then that's it, that's it for this base right now. So yeah, we'll just get this done. It's real simple. Ooh, gravestone. What a cool ornament. Actually, I'm going to go put that by my base real fast. Let's go do that. Make it creepy like all that good stuff. Play some pumpkins. Scarecrows, all that good stuff. Oh, Triceratops came up to check out what we're doing over here. Alright, there we go. All nice and spooky. Anyway, let's get back to the work. Montage! Alright, there we go. That's the start of our nice, fabulous looking base. Got some clothes, got a nice base under 30 minutes this is the longer part this will take you a while get used to it we already did the speedy part of leveling now the longer part of um shoot i forgot what i was gonna say longer part oh yeah of building up a base that's gonna take a while so but everything will start falling into place you'll get bored all that good stuff um did i say bored whoops anyway uh, I'll get, I get bored after a while, you, you guys probably won't, I don't know. Um, yeah, so, now after we got that, we want to get a whole crap ton of storage boxes, so, uh, the reason why is you're gonna start collecting a lot of materials, you're gonna need to collect a lot of materials if you're gonna further one, expand, and two, just survive all that stuff, like, yeah. So there's one box, two boxes. I'm gonna get a maximum of like five boxes. Probably not necessary, but I don't care. I like to fill my stuff full of junk because I, I hate having a s extremely, I was gonna say seriously, extremely cluttered inventory like right now. It's very cluttered. I hate it. So I'll just chuck some stuff in there. A lot of nece necessities I don't need at the time. But I suggest you keep probably just a, ma a good amount of resources. Because you will eventually need them in the future, if not the near future.
But yeah, just uh Yeah, I'm gonna make five, you guys make ten, twelve, a thousand. Whatever you think might help you either be more organized, less organized, uh Oh that's cool. Who dropped it? Oh, Stegawig. Here's another hot tip. Don't steal an, a dinosaur's egg. It will try to murder you. Except the moss chops. But, um, I honestly would show you, but I don't want to get completely martyred for taking this guy's poor egg. Or girl, it's a girl. Next, I'm just going to stick with, uh, four boxes right now. I already got a fifth one on there. Yeah, it's this guy's egg right here. It's not right, Mr. Stegosaurus. You'd murder me if I went to go steal your egg. Or did steal your egg. Don't steal eggs unless you are absolutely sure you will kill the mother slash father. That's just a very handy tip. Alright, so the best way to put these boxes is the way I'm going to do them. You don't want them side by side. Uh, it just, it's a lot, like, you don't want to do this. Don't, don't do this. It wastes space, like, it really does. So, uh, the way you're going to want to do it is like this. Right in front of each other. Because, luckily, game mechanics is stupid. And you'll be able to... Are you good? My goodness, yeah. Anyway, uh, just have uh, the boxes like this. It saves tons more space. And, uh, like I said, game mechanics being game mechanics, you'll still be able to open the boxes pretty easily. I might add. Uh, try not to make them too far apart. Like, that. that's pretty good. Let's see, still access. Still access. Oh man, he escaped. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you got your boxes, what's next? Trilobite, you want to kill all the trilobites you can find. It's the best source of chitin, pearls, at this stage for noobs, like yourself if you are a noob, hence watching this video. If you're not, then you'll understand why I'm doing this, it, if you're like a pro, all that good stuff. Also, it's just fun to kill these guys. They're like so annoying. They have absolutely no use except for pearls. Like, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. And pearls will be useful later on, and I'll share that also in another video. A lot of this will be in more videos. It's, it's like a series. It's like a Let's Play slash tutorial series. I suck at both. Might as well just stick them all in one. Yeah, get all this chitin. This chitin is going to be very useful. So you saw that pterodon? Well, we're going to need to ride it pretty soon. Guess what you need to make it? Make a saddle with. Chitin, keratin. Yeah, you're going to need to go kill a lot more bugs. Yuck. Alright, besides that, we're going to want a furnace. That is going to help you smelt some iron and get a lot more tools. And by a lot, I mean a lot. Maybe not a lot. Maybe better tools. Better tools is a better way to put it. You'll get a lot better tools. Like, um, metal picks and axes, which will not break so easily, unlike these stupid stone ones that you're stuck with. You see, like, I'm just gonna chuck all that in there. Grab that. That. Well, actually. Eh. That. Grab the meat. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna see. Now I can go get more stuff. It is fairly expensive, so I'm just gonna mine as much as I can, and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Yeah, that's gonna be about it for how much stone you're gonna need. So now you gotta go on a killing spree. What level are you? I suggest you go for the lower the levels, the better. A lot easier to kill. Same amount of hide. It doesn't matter. 
so I'm just gonna murder this guy right now and die dead perfect it is gonna waste the water bullets like I just ran out that's fine we're gonna make more the more the merrier all that good stuff why do I say that all that good stuff a lot it's so weird um yeah so get as much bullets as you can you're gonna need them um, for more stuff. Bullets do become useless whenever you go to try to tame like a Rex or a Stego, but they are helpful whenever you're trying to kill a Parasaur and you're not like a one-shot king yet. Which I'm not even that right now. Uh, I, I still suck at killing things one shot. Anyway, so got all that. <clears throat> Ooh, more graves. I don't care. They just pop out of nowhere, don't they? Uh, yeah, so now we're gonna go kill some more stuff. You also might want to add a campfire near the front of your base. I'm not going to, like... I'm just not. I don't... I have one on a boat. You can if you want, if you... Uh, ex like, really, really want to and stuff, but I'm not going to. It's, it's pointless. You're just gonna get better stuff in the future, so why waste materials? That's not too bad. Get all the hide. And then... What else do we need? We got the hide, we got the fun, we got the stone, we got the wood. Now we just need fiber. Let's go get more fiber. That's probably the tedious part of the video. Just going out, picking berries. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Speaking fiber, just it's so tedious and annoying, but it's so necessary. Now, whenever we go to tame the trike, that's what us pros, pros not so pros, meaning me, like to call the uh, triceratops. It's a lot easier to say trike and stuff, triceratops. Anyway, once you tame one of those, put a saddle on it. Hey, look, you got a tame, whatever. Uh, oops, you get one. I just keep burping. Goodness. Uh, get one and walk around and just attack the berries. You get a lot of berries. So wait, never mind. You don't want to get a trike for that reason. Never mind. Trikes help the berries. Now with fiber. Fiber is more of the moss chops, I guess. I don't know. For all you pros that are watching this, uh, what would you guys say is best to grab fiber? But besides all that, um, yep, grab all the metal you collected from all that tedious stone collecting. Now, the thing is, with this, every two raw metal, which is this right here, metal, every two will equal one ingot, so we're just gonna let that sit for now. Um, uh, yeah, so let's go get more stone, more wood, and then we'll get ready to start crafting the smithy which will help you make more stuff like your metal stuff it's like uh you're gonna make a you're gonna pound some metal on your knee or would you rather pound it on an anvil that's that's the way you could probably think of it but besides all that we're just gonna get ready and build it after we build that we're gonna mate get you guys slash me our first team and we'll be ready to move on from there in the video there you go let's see what else do I need for it I don't need that much do I well I could use more stone I guess all right while we wait uh, what's a great place about this is these golden covered co golden speckled rocks uh whenever you get an anki or your metal pick metal is just gonna come to you it's like it's drawn to you whenever you mine these things like these watch i'll show you stone flint stone metal and now it's from my stone pick so and metal gets uh, no, yeah metal picks will get you more metal 
So, yeah, imagine how much you'll get with that singular metal pick. And this is without edited, uh, gathering. But, besides all that, we can finally make our smithy. <sighs> and get to work. So, I am gonna put it... Oh, actually, where is a good place to put it? I guess we could put it right here. Right. There. There we go. You got your smithy. Grab whatever ingots in here. Chuck it in here. See, now we got more stuff we can craft. What fun, right? Now, check a lot of this stuff. You're gonna need a lot of hide for this. See, we're gonna, we're gonna need to inevitably get more hide. Might as well get more hide, too, because we also want another essential thing called the mortar and pestle. It's gonna, uh, mortar and pestle will help you make tranquilizer arrows slash fluid, which will make the arrows. So it'll make it a lot easier to knock stuff out, hence tranquilizers. Yeah, let's go get ourselves another parasaur. Oh, hello, speaking of the devil. I know, I'm the bane of your existence. Finally, dead. Alright, let's... There it is. Let's see, what do we need? Oh, we got enough hide for both. So, while we're out here, might as well make this mortar and pestle. It, trust me, it's going to be useful for taming stuff. Uh, which one do, should we tame first? I think we should tame the Parasaur first. Uh, just because it's a nice ride. It'll help you get around this place faster. It's like a workhorse. It's, it's basically a workhorse, to put it that way. Faster than a trike. Not as strong, though. Not as fast as a uh, parasaurus, not as fast as raptors, not as strong as trikes. This is a good in between, it's also a herbivore. Easy to come by, easy to tame, all that stuff. And I'll show you how to properly tame one after we get all this stuff ready to go. So, yeah, let's go back. Is it ain't so pretty? Ooh, another drop. That is another good thing about this place. Its drops are actually really, really good. Um, so the way it goes is gray. If you play every single game in existence, gray is not so good. Gray, uh, green is a little bit better, but not, not by much. Um, so on and so forth. It goes up like that. So, and then like with this, red's the best, gold the second best, purple, then blue, then green, then gray. That's how it goes, mostly. Alright. So now we can make that. Now what you saw me make there was, uh, narcotic. This stuff, right here. It does increase your health, but it puts you to sleep. It's very useful for taming stuff uh, the best way to do it is you're gonna need a lot of spoiled meat so if you have any meat about to spoil like the yellow bar is about to run out on the bottom of your meat stuff just split it all of it into one each so it will spoil a lot faster and let's see if we have any more narcotic berries because that's what you're gonna need narcotic berries the blackberries specifically oh we got some more spoiled meat Terrific. Anyway, blackberries and spoiled meat, that's what it's going to take to craft this stuff. See? Now that that's crafting, let's go get more berries. And our, actually, our thing should be done by now. Very tedious. This is where a trike would come in handy until you get like a brontosaurus. Which, if one swing from its tail will get you like a million berries per second. But yeah, just get all that stuff. 
Actually, I think we might go for two teams. The Parasaur and the Pterosaur. Parasaur and the Pterosaur. Also known as the, uh, ran it on him. Yes. So yeah, just get as much as possible. This is gonna be like your best friend until ever. Like, it's gonna be your best friend if you're gonna wanna tame stuff, trust me. It, it will. Yeah, just make as many as you can. Uh, some people like to have separate bows for regular arrows. Turn that, for, turn that off when you're not using it. Uh, anyway, people like to have like separate things for uh, tranquilizers, fire arrows, if you're on scorched earth, all that stuff. I just, I don't care, I'll just switch it over if I forget. But, let's see, let's get the pterodon, I don't know, let's see, do we have any hide left? Should be back in there. Alright, let's grab this hide. Yep, there it is, hide, fiber, even though we don't really need it. Like, you saw how much fiber we got. What else do we need? We need... Thatch! Do we have any thatch left? Yes, we do. Perfect. So, yep. Just grab all this. I'm gonna grab five. Actually, six. I have six left, so... Yep. You know, might as well make some gloves. I said we didn't really need them earlier, but... It's nice. It's cool. Uh, but, yeah. Check your pickaxe. Your stone pickaxe in there. You're not gonna need it anymore. Like, come on. It's, it's stone. It breaks easily. There you go. Nobody's gotta wear on the gloves, and then we're done. And we're gonna go tame some stuff. There we go. Get the gloves. Uh, we will need more meat. Actually, no, we don't. We have all that meat from earlier. So yeah, let's get... Which what level are you? 8. 20. You're gonna want the best one you can find. 60. But for right now... Oh. Flew off. Alright, here it is. And... Snagged. There we go. Shoot them in the face. It does more justice. There. Two arrows. Let's see. It's already passed out. Grab your arrows. Your arrows will turn back to normal once you have shot them. So don't get excited for like, hey, I'll get my stuff back. I'll, I'll get my narco berries back and I don't need to make more. No, you, your narcotics will run out. That's why you need to make like a lot. Um, yeah, just let your bird tame up. And the birds are very useful for crossing. So you don't have to try to say hello to the bottom of the ocean with Mr. Boat Eater on your tail. Well, I, I like to call him Metal. Oh, here. Here's a... Ooh, that, that's not good. So the purple bar on above like the two bars, the bottom one is your tame. Once it eats, it'll show green. Uh, the purple bar is how long it'll stay passed out. You want to give it some berries, juice, whatever. Like, the the berries, the, the narcotic juice, juices, whatever. Anything to keep it tranquilized. Otherwise, all that taming progress will just say, Bye-bye, and go out the window. Oh, he's eating. How much taming effectiveness? Wherever you are. There you are. Anyway. See, so yeah, since it's going to take a while, just tuck these in there feed it to him and his purple bar will go up just a little bit it's not very effective but the berries aren't at least so let's go grab the rest make two three more arrows two more arrows make a good amount of arrows and then we'll just we'll save one how's that we'll save one one two three four now we're gonna go give it to big bird big beak Let's call it Big Beak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him Big Beak. Yep, yeah, we're gonna give it to Ugly over here. And... There we go. Yeah, see, look, now this purple bar should be going up a lot more. Oh, sorry, it's a her. Forgive me. Anyway, so, you see these tabs up here? 
here's the your enneagrams which help you learn here's your tribe if you are on a server here's t taming ordering groups I don't understand that I, you guys can figure it out but here's what you want to look at this is taming progress if you click that it'll tell you exactly where this guy's gonna be so so we're gonna go out and get more metal while this guy's taming up Yoink. Shoot. And shoot. And shoot. And look, he's passed out. Perfect. Chuck some berries in them. Purple, uh, the purple pinkish berries, these ones, uh, have most effectiveness. They, they just do. It's, I won't say common knowledge, it's just true. They, it, it has the most. The best way to tame these guys, especially when you become a pro, is, or at least, maybe not a pro, more like a higher leveled. The best way to tame them is to starve them out, meaning chuck a bunch of narcotics in their inventory, do not even give them a single piece of food, berry, or meat, depending on the animal, right, until their hunger bar, which I'll show you here in a second. Their hunger bar right there, the one with the says food, once that gets down to a decent amount, then chuck it in and one tame faster and two give you more levels plus have more efficiency it's just the way to do it it's it's literally the only way you ever get anything good i don't do that because i'm impatient and i don't want to wait for it to starve i'd rather it tame while i'm doing stuff but that's just me And that's pretty much it for this video. We got our base set up, pretty much set up. Actually, there is one more thing I want to do. And it's not transferring metal over to the smithy. It is actually... Actually, I do want that. Um, what was I going to say? It's not that. It was actually... We actually need a bed for respawn. So you know how... Uh, we had that sleeping bag before which I used for an experiment earlier like I told you about well we we're gonna want something more permanent so this bed right here I'm just get hide it's not hard to build it's literally not hide fiber wood thatch all that good stuff hide fiber I sure to have no fiber so yeah let me let me just go get this stuff real fast There you go that easy this bed will help you respawn when you die and just like the sleeping bags but this one's more permanent so if you die respawn it will just stay it'll stay here so that's like God's blessing to this game but actually before we go we're gonna make a momentous build here and it's going to be the build of this wonderful piece of chest armor. This is what we, what the game likes to call flak armor. It is pretty good. When you're first starting out, definitely better than leather. Like we started at, at the beginning of the video. So we're just going to trade that in. Boom. There you go. It's a lot stronger, trust me. One time I was playing on server with my dad. And, we would, and I was stuck trying to get this tame I tamed over to our base and I was trekking through the swamp which I'll go over the biomes in another video but I was trekking through the swamp and piranhas kept biting me and so flak armor was like my savior oh yeah that's another thing sleeping on a bed is also nice if you want to save and stuff so you're not standing there for those of you who are weird 
But yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell button. Hope you guys loved number tutorial number two slash let's play. And we'll be seeing you guys next time.